Hello everyone, my name is Sig the Good, and I hope all of you have had a nice day today. For those of you just joining the channel, welcome, and I'll give you a quick overview of what we're about. Basically, this is a community-based channel that is focused on sharing the good things that happen in our days, both the big things and the little things, and um, telling it to each other, sharing it, is what I meant to say, uh, so that we can all see that good things happen all around us. In a world that's focused on the negative news, I want to uh, try to show that good things do happen in our lives with uh, personal anecdotes from each of us in order to um, well, make the world a little bit happier. If you have a good thing that happens in your day, feel free to share, and if not, I hope you can at least take something positive away from these videos. Today I'm going to discuss four things that I uh, that uh, really happened in my day that made me a little bit happier and made me smile a little bit. Um, this, of course, sticking with the usual compliments that I give out in the clinic in the mornings. Uh, I got two people to really talk about. One uh, was a doctor from a hospital that came for an appointment and he had on a Santa beard mask that I don't know why I just kind of found charming. And one of my co-workers was wearing zebra crocs today, which Considering we all usually wear scrubs, it was a uh, nice change of pace and I kind of enjoyed them. Um, so got those to look forward to. Um, it was actually a relatively stress-free kind of day for me at work. Uh, Thursdays are usually the busiest days in the clinic for us. So I went into the day thinking that's what was going to happen for me. Um, and I was expecting to scribe all day and then run around and do extra work, but instead, after I finished screening, I found out that my um, the first half of the day for me was to just do computer work, which made things a whole lot more restful for me. And uh, before I get into any more details, incidentally, I'll just move on from there and talk about it more later on in the video. After I got home from work, I uh, got to uh, eat some wings for dinner with my wife. She had another late night, and uh, neither one was really... Uh, felt like cooking. We had spaghetti prepared, um, but didn't feel like it today. So we got wings and uh, that's always fun. And then finally, this isn't news for today actually, but uh, a few days ago, I started a Twitter because I'm doing that now. So cool. I'll talk about that more. Anyways, I hope you guys are looking forward to uh, at least hearing me ramble a little bit for the uh, foreseeable uh, few minutes. And uh, yeah, uh, here we go. So, since I kind of gave a lot of details in my introduction there, which I didn't really mean to, I'll just uh, try to add on as much as I can for this. Um, so, if you're new to the channel, just a quick, quick rundown. When I uh, work with uh, patients or screen patients um, in the day, I try to give them compliments to make their day a little bit better. And I do this by just like giving them a up-down look, looking for something that really pops out to me as uh, something that uh, they put some effort towards. And I uh, give them a little bit of compliments. Sometimes I get a smile, sometimes I get a story. And I do that with every person I see or work with. And uh, yeah, it's uh, had some pretty good results. And uh, today, a couple of the compliments I gave out today involved a, involved a Santa beard mask and the zebra crocs, which you guys already have an overview of what happened with there. Basically, with the Yasina beard mask, it was a doctor from another hospital. Um, he was seeing my doctor today. It was uh, later on in the day, so um, things were uh, kind of beginning to wind down a bit, and uh, that's how the doctor was able to come in uh, because his shift had ended over at the hospital. And um, I can't get into any details of why he was there or anything like that because HIPAA, that's against the law and all that. But um, he was wearing a Santa beard mask, and for some reason, I just found it pretty charming. Um, he had on scrubs and a pretty unremarkable jacket, so there wasn't really much else to take away from his outfit. And uh, thinking back on it, it definitely wasn't the most like eye-catching thing I had seen today. But for some reason, when I try to think about compliments, that's the first thing that uh, pops into my head. So I really enjoyed it. I honestly hadn't seen the Santa mask mask, um, a Santa beard mask before, so uh, yeah, it was pretty neat. Made me smile a little bit. So uh, that's one good thing. It's a small thing, but it's still a good thing, right? Uh, the next were the zebra crocs, which we're going to the other side of the day, um, more towards the morning. I'm saying good morning to everyone. Um, 
one of the co one of my coworkers that I usually say good morning to works in a different department than I do. Um, we were chatting about the morning, and I managed to glance and see her uh, zebra cro crocs that she was wearing, and they were kind of decorated a little bit to where it had like uh, pink nose and pink ears on it a bit, and apparently it um, came with those decorations. Uh, she kind of beamed when she talked about it a bit. Um, I guess um, she was a little bit proud of it. I guess her kids might like that as well. So I know I kind of enjoyed it. And whenever things are pretty uniform and kind of plain at a clinic, because our dress code kind of requires it, it's nice to uh, nice to see the, a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, change of pace when it comes to our outfits. So. I appreciated it. Uh, I don't know if you guys would appreciate it, but uh, brought a smile to my face. Hopefully the image of it can bring a smile to yours. Anyways, got the compliments out of the way. Now we can go over to like the main topic of today, which was an unstressful day of work. It's not hard to imagine why this is a good part of a day. Most of us, if we're really stressed out, if we're really stretched thin, um, we look forward to these kind of days, a day where things are just a little bit settled down and you can just kind of catch up on work, um, but stay consistently busy so the day continues to move by and not drag on. It's not a slow day, but it's not an overwhelming kind of day. It's just one of those days where it's just steady. And I had a steady kind of day. And it, was a, it was a steady day that didn't demand too much. I was able to catch up on all my work, I didn't have to run all over the building to uh, do extra things because uh, the first half was just me sitting at a computer uh, performing tasks such as sending letters to uh, patients and all that. So uh, that's all I had to worry about. I even got to uh, chat with some coworkers, which I don't really get to do in the middle of the day. So appreciated that as well. I just really, uh, absorbed as much of the moment as I could while I was uh, at work today. And uh, I did have to work in the later half of the, um, the latter half of the day, sorry, my bad. And um, it was still kind of busy there, but not as busy as Thursdays usually get at our clinic. So things still remained pretty, uh, pretty steady throughout the day. And uh, I got to come home with a lot more energy than I usually do. Um, the past few days, I had been actually crashing on the couch as soon as I got home, and uh, I hadn't been sleeping too well the uh, past few nights, so uh, it was very needed to, uh, well, much needed is what I'm trying to say, to get this kind of day. I, uh, I'm glad I got it. Wish I had gotten it, gotten it a uh, bit earlier in the week, but um, yeah, I had that kind of day, so I really appreciate it. I'll stop rambling about that now. So moving on. You guys already know that my wife had another late day with work today. This is her last one for the for the week, fortunately. So uh, no late work tomorrow, but she does have to work a little bit on Saturday, which isn't fun. But she didn't feel like making spaghetti. I didn't feel like making spaghetti. And I certainly didn't want to do another food-based uh, video since I actually do a, quite a few of those now that I think about it. But um, we just decided to get some wings today. Would have been a bit more topical if we had done this yesterday when it was Wednesday, but it's wings. We enjoyed it. Uh, Domino wished she could enjoy it, but um, he's a dog, and uh, I don't know if wings or uh, sauce on wing sauce is really good for them. So, got to enjoy some wings after work today. So that was great. Um, let's see. So that does it for all the good things that happened today. But um, one additional thing I want to talk to you guys about is that I started Twitter. And uh, the reason why I started this is, um, well, I know that I can ramble a whole lot when it comes to my videos, and um, my wife will tell me I don't ramble as much as I think I do, but I know I ramble quite a bit. Take this video, for example. I rambled at the very beginning of it all and almost gave out everything before I even started talking about it. Um, uh, before I even started talking about it all. Sorry about the word stumble there. So I started a Twitter to just to try to take one good thing that happened in the day and put it in a tweet and then just put it out there. That way, if you guys need something quick, something uh, to just look at me like, oh, that's nice, or something you can sh uh, check out other than YouTube, there's that Twitter. My uh, Twitter handle is actually at seekthegood1. 
no hashtag or anything like that. And uh, so it's pretty simple to uh, remember, but I'll be including it in my uh, um, my uh, video descriptions in the future to see if that uh, helps you guys out and if you want to check it out in the future. Again, feel no obligation no obligation to do so. But um, one thing you guys can like keep in mind with it is that it's another area to like keep up and share good things that happen. So if you don't want to share good things that happen on YouTube, you now can try Twitter if you feel more comfortable with that and vice versa. Um, so that'll be included in the links below and uh, check me out if you want to. Okay, so I'm done with all my rambling today and I'm done with all my good things. So if any of you guys had anything good that happened to you today, I would love to hear about it in the comments. I'm sure that anyone else watching these videos would love to hear about it in the comments as well. Uh, the only way this community-based channel works is if we all just like share the good things that happen with us. So if you can think of something, go ahead and leave a comment. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, uh, then I hope you can at least take something good away from these videos and make your day a little bit better. Um, also, if you want to keep up with all these uh, videos in the future, keep up with a bit more positivity, uh, be sure to try and subscribe. That way you get regular updates when I upload. I do kind of upload every day, but it's good to know um, it's better to keep up with it all whenever you're subscribed rather than if you're just scrolling through your YouTube feed. And I've been meaning to say that the past couple of videos as well to subscribe, but I realized that I haven't, so I'll just I'll just tuck that in there. Um, also, feel no need to really subscribe if you don't want to. Again, this is community based and it's kind of a, a come and go. Um, kind of thing so uh if you need us we're here if not we're gone and i'll and i'll stop myself before i start rambling about subscribing now so time to end the video thank you all so much for watching and this has been seek the good goodbye